You've seen them on Amazon, AliExpress, and Timu phone coolers. These are these little metal discs that go in the back of your phone and cool it down during gameplay. How well will one of these work cooling a CPU? In this video, I put one to the test. A lot of these coolers do a bad to okay job on smartphones, cooling them down a few degrees in heavy gaming or video usage. They get ice cold on the bottom due to a semiconductor that transfers heat between two materials. It gets super cold on one side and hot on the other using that same tech as those crappy desktop mini fridges. Let's get this show on the road. To get a baseline temp, I tested a stock AMD Wraith cooler to see what it could handle. It got around 92 degrees Celsius in a 25 Celsius room, scoring 707 in Cinebench, not stellar temps with the 4700G throwing 75 watts at it. Now let's get this phone cooler on here. We'll put a little thermal paste on there for good measure. I don't have high hopes for this thing. Off the bat, just getting into Windows, we're at 71 degrees Celsius. Ouch. But then something happens while waiting for hardware info to load. The idle temps start dropping, reaching 47 degrees Celsius. It's not cooking the processor. Could this work? Ha! No. Once we start hammering at it with stress tests and Cinebench, the story quickly goes bad. The CPU reaches its max temp of 95 degrees Celsius fast and then begins reducing the speeds until it sits at its max temp and below a third its normal speed. This little cooler ain't cooling, shh. I mean, we knew this would happen, right? But we had to try, so what the heck. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.